Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a bit more about the sensors we have in the car and how we use them with the data to compare each other's lap times and uh, find some more speed. We have here the steering sensor. This is the brake sensor. Here is the speed sensor. You can see how it blinks. And behind in the engine, we have the RPM sensor. So I just show you the sensors in the car and I'm going to give you a brief explanation of how exactly they show up in the data and how we use them as tools. First, we have a speed sensor and it's pretty simple. Basically, as the speed goes up, the line goes up, and when you go down in the speed, the line goes down, and you will see this quite clearly. The second sensor we have is the throttle sensor, which when the line is flat, it means it's at 0%. When the line is flat on the top, it means it's 100%. And there you can see how aggressive you are with the throttle. The next sensor we have is the braking. This would be a very nice braking shape high pressure, maintain the pressure high to slow down the car and release softly the pedal just to keep the, the car you know, under control. The next one we have would be the steering sensor. The same principle, flat when there's no steering input. When you move the steering wheel to the left, it goes up like this. When you move the steering wheel to the right, it goes down like this. And the last one we have would be the RPM, which as the engine goes faster, it goes up and whenever you put another gear in, it goes down and up again. Here we have an example of uh, a piece of data we collected. Here the, the yellow line is as the driver approaches the first corner, he puts a lot of braking. You can see the, the green part is the braking and the yellow line goes down, that's the speed. Coming out of the corner, he puts the throttle, which is the red line, and comes back up. The same thing happens the next braking zone. He puts some pressure in the brake, speed decreases, the steering wheel trace moves, so he's turning to the right, so it moves here, puts the throttle back up, and the driver goes down again. This green part we have here is the upshifts and the downshifts that we can see with the RPM. So as you can see, this is a straight over here. The RPM goes up, down, as he upshifts, this upshifts to fourth, and continues uh, going up again. So what I just showed you is the data. It is one of the most important tools we have. We use it after every session. We can compare from one driver to the other one to see which points are better. And uh, if you use it well, you can get a pretty good idea of what's going out on track. 